yeah, linked to linked to your your body as well, wasn't it? And that movement, that cycle movement, wasn't it? So, yeah, right. So, okay. What happens is in learning, it's like when you're learning to drive a car, is that um, you have to think about what you're doing. Have you been in a car? Is your dad showing you any? No, right. Um, it's like um, you're thinking about what you have to do. You know, like I'm, I'm thinking, I've got to put my foot on either side of this. Um, so you're conscious of doing it. Uh, the next stage is the uh, what they call the automated stage. You, you're doing it. Uh, you've got s uh, what we call learning patterns. You've learned to pattern put your feet on the boat, you've learned a pattern of um, how much uh, power to put in your paddle and um, how to use the power transfer uh, and so on. The next stage is what we call the un unconscious. So it's like when you learn to drive there comes a final stage where you drive without thinking. So those three stages, where do you think you are at the moment? Yeah. Because what I'm doing in a way is um, there are parts that you, you, you of your previous knowledge that you're using, but what we're looking at is uh, looking at the skill of paddling, but we're looking at the technique to make it better. So yes, you're all, you're in this sort of uh, automotive stage. Uh, but the feeling part comes into it is the, the um, I believe, I, I think in, in the, un uh, the unconscious you do it without thinking because you've got a feel of your body, a feel of the boat and so on. So in a way doing that exercise paddling down here like that is uh, in a way uh, of doing it without thinking so that you, you've paddled in a straight line, haven't you? You're conscious of those things to help you, but it, it's like, it comes to a stage where you can do it without thinking about my feet or all those other things. Right, um, we'll leave it at that part. So, um, what was good about tonight? Yeah. Yes. And the panel, I think, has helped. Um, it, it, yeah, it, it means then, I mean, the latter part of your, your paddle stroke with that, it's more upright. So you understand where you were going through gates and grease about the importance of having the paddle upright like that. And I think having the lighter paddle like that. Ask your, your dad to buy one for Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> a two hundred and fifty pound, <laughs> but certainly um, a, a much lighter paddle for you, uh, because that certainly helps. I mean, you don't see the professional tennis players playing with. Uh, I mean, they're probably able to do it, but they're playing with light rackets, aren't they? Graphite like rackets and so on to get that power, to get that smoothness and the speed to be able to react to. Uh, yeah, that's it. Okay, so it, it's like 
you like the good things which are uh, which are coming. Okay. Um, what aspect uh, are you looking to develop next week? I think that I think you can start the process of that um, because it, it, it takes time uh, to develop that. Uh, an example of that is it's like when you uh, move to white water. So it, it's like um, at the bottom, of, you, you haven't been to Jackfield Rapids, have you? Right, Jackfield, the bottom of Jackfield Rapids is ideal to go from one side of the river to the other. And so it's like, there, there's a word we use of um, homing, is it honing the, um, the, the movement of something and perfecting it? And so it, it's, there's other things to it as well, but it's just knowing how to do it without really thinking of doing it. So uh, that, that comes really through, through practice. But the important thing from your point of view is these finer points uh, for your skills on the techniques, you can see an improvement from last week to this week. Um, have a think about next week about uh, uh, where else we get, we're moved on to but we've certainly linked up all the points of the fundamentals and connectivity power transfer the posture uh, and feel okay you've got five minutes to play thanks very much <laughs>